In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a fixed header inside of Figma. There's a couple different ways we can do this, but it's gonna look something like this when we're done. So as I scroll down on the page, you'll see that that navigation bar is staying fixed at the top. But then we also have these headings, and as I scroll past them, they're taking the place of the previous heading and they're staying fixed right beneath that navigation bar. So that's gonna be making use of the fixed and the sticky positionings when we go into prototype mode. But let's jump into our canvas and we can build, build this from scratch. So I'm gonna create a new artboard here and I'm just gonna be setting this to a desktop uh, dimension. And let's go ahead and drag in our navigation bar. So I'm assuming you already have these elements set up, um, but obviously you can do this with just about any frame. Whatever you're grouping together for your navigation and your header elements, you wanna go over to prototype mode and like I said, under the position settings, we wanna make sure that's set to fixed. And then on the entire artboard, you're gonna select that frame and you're gonna to go to the overflow where it says scroll behavior and set that to vertical. So this will mean anytime you have content that's going off of the canvas, it's gonna to switch to allow you to scroll past that and then the fixed header is gonna kick in. So we don't have anything in here. I'll just create a rectangle and fill this up using auto layout really quick. So now if I turn off the clip content, you'll see we have all this stuff happening down here. And if we jump into prototype mode, I can start to scroll and you'll see that that nav bar is staying fixed right at the top. So if that's all you need to do, then hopefully that was helpful and you can like and subscribe, but I'm gonna show you how to also add in those headings. So we could just start to add in these headings immediately that we have here. So if I added them at the top, and we could change this in the prototype setting under position and set that to sticky. The problem is as we start to scroll, the header in the nav bar is gonna be staying fixed at the top. So we're still gonna be able to see it and it's gonna to start to cover the text heading that we have here. So what I mean by that is as I scroll, you'll see immediately that that heading is being covered because it's roughly the same size. So we're not getting to see that. So the way to fix this is to actually not set the entire artboard to scroll. We're only gonna set the uh, body section which sits beneath the nav bar to scroll. So select your whole frame and change the overflow back to no scrolling. And then we're gonna create a new frame by hitting F on the keyboard. And we'll just drag this to again, fill the entire artboard excluding that navigation at the top. And you can rename this something like body or content or whatever and we'll move this uh, under the scroll section and then just drag all of our content into the body. Now what we're gonna do on the body is set the overflow to a vertical scroll and we don't need quite as many rectangles here so I'll remove this and maybe change the orientation. It's a little easier to see. And then what we'll do is just create a few of these headings. So I'll just drag this down. We'll call this heading two and swap this out. And you can do this with as many elements as you want. Obviously, you just keep adding them. And the important thing is to actually stack them in reverse order. So obviously we want to have the last elements be the most visible as you scroll. So meaning the heading one would be lowest and then you have heading two on top of that and heading three. Otherwise, heading one's just gonna always cover, or whatever element you have, is always gonna cover whatever layers are beneath it. So we have our different headings here, and we can throw in some content. And again, I'm just gonna make sure that this last element actually does overflow, otherwise we can't show the scroll. And then we can jump into prototype mode again, and as we start to scroll, you'll see these headings are changing as I hit it. But again, you're actually seeing that the headings are being fixed just beneath that body section. And just like that, we pretty much set up the fixed and the sticky header. Hopefully that was helpful. If so, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And show a link down below if how you're using the fixed and sticky header. And again, as always, the uh, demo file is gonna be linked down below if you wanna duplicate it and mess around with it on your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.